this tutorial we're going to look at some of the rules and naming conventions that we need to adhere to or follow when giving names to our identifiers. The first thing is what characters we're allowed to use. So if we look up here, I've got in a new project called naming conventions, I've got the variables height and age. That's fine as it is. If I start a variable name with a numeral, I get a little red squiggly line there. A red squiggly line indicates a syntax error, and we're not allowed to have any of those. They will actually prevent our program from being run by the Visual Basic compiler. Notice what happens though, if I remove the numeral from the beginning of the variable name to the end of the variable name. Now I don't have any issues whatsoever. So what that tells us is that we're allowed to use numerals 0 through 9 in our identifiers so long as they are not the very first character. The second thing here is that some of these variables contain more than one word. So if I separate first from name, I'm going to get an error. The green squiggly line just is sort of alerting me to something like there's nothing in the variable or you've created the variable but then you haven't actually used it at all. It's not a biggie, the green squiggly line, but you'll see under name we have that red squiggly line again. So that tells us the second rule in naming identifiers in Visual Basic, and it's common to most programming languages if not all, is that we're not allowed spaces in our names. So get rid of that. Then we come to some conventions. A convention in Visual Basic is to use camel case spelling. What that means is like up here with height and age, if our identifiers consist of only one word, we just type it all in lowercase letters. If we look at this block here though, all of these variables contain two or three words. To make the identifier. So the rule of thumb there with camel case is to start all lowercase letters and then capitalize only the first letter of each subsequent word. So N for name, P for price, profit last quarter is made up of three words so profit is all lowercase, the L in last is uppercase and the Q in quarter is also in uppercase. It gets around the fact that we're not allowed spaces in our identifiers, that's a rule that can't be broken, and it's still relatively easy to read. When we come down here to our constant, we see we've got a different convention. The same rules of only letters, underscore character, and numerals can be present but not as the first character apply to constant identifiers just as much as variables. The convention here though is that when we write the name of a variable, of a constant, sorry, we capitalize the entire thing. As such, if we've got a constant like here that's consisting of more than one word, tax and rate in this example, we actually separate the words with an underscore character because obviously the camel case spelling of variables doesn't apply here because everything is in capitals anyway.